change of pace now and the entertainment craze sweeping Perth. Men have been dressing as women for more than a century, but these days female impersonators are more popular than ever. And Perth's showgirls are performing in some surprising suburban locations. Here's Mark Gibson again. I'm just a natural born performer. It's what I've always done from a very young age. People love seeing drag queens on stage. It's Saturday night at a community hall in Perth's southern suburbs. Three men dressed as women are performing at a football club fundraiser and the crowd absolutely loves it. A few hours earlier, Dean Misdale begins the long process of getting ready for work. Not everyone dresses up as a woman <laughs> after hours and I, I can't even explain it. It's just something that, you know, happened along the way. Clean shaven and ready for makeup. Lots of makeup. And it don't matter what you do, Australians have always had such a fascination with drag because of people like Dame Edna and then, you know, in the 90s Priscilla came out and it just kind of exploded. When the Aussie film Priscilla, Queen of the Desert came out in 1994, Dean Misdale was in primary school, yet to discover sequins or false eyelashes. So this whole makeup thing, where do you start? Um, I pretty much just start from the top and work my way down. It's pretty much head to toe transformation. So it can take a couple of hours depending on what sort of makeup I'm doing and you know what the whole night is going to entail. It's over the top and it's supposed to be. But to Dean's amazement, women often ask him for makeup tips. For me, it's just a bit of character, a bit of colour and stuff. But you know, women wear makeup every day, and I don't understand why they'd want to wear makeup like this. <laughs> but I still get asked. You've heard of American rapper Eminem. Well, Dean's alter ego is Feminem, born eight years ago when Dean was working as a DJ. And someone had a great idea of, oh, you should DJ in drag. And I thought, oh, cool, you'll be fun, not realising it would end up becoming every weekend. There's jackets, dresses, pants, skirts, you know, and you can mix and match those into a hundred different combinations. So the possibilities are endless. What started in gay nightclubs has swept across suburban Perth. You just never know who's going to call and it's, it is always a surprise because, you know, we've done so many different things over the years. From hen's nights to birthday parties and charity events, drag queens are in demand. It's just a never-ending array of different types of people who want a drag show. Tonight, 29-year-old Dean and his case full of costumes are off to a football club fundraiser. You know, sometimes the neighbours will stick their head out the door or whatever and I'm just like, hello, and off I go. I've lost count of how many times I've been stopped and breath tested. Half an hour later, backstage at a community hall in Riverton. A final rehearsal for Feminem and fellow performers Barbie Q and Sheila Mann. Just a standard little Saturday night outfit. Yeah, this is just casual wear. The first of tonight's six costumes. Once you've got the whole thing on, it'll kind of take shape. So you're no longer Dean? Are you feminine now? Um, I don't really know. I kind of bounce between the two all the time. In the audience, mums and dads from the Rostrata Junior Footy Club in Williton. The entertainment value is, is fantastic and it's something different. Zoran Panzic says the club didn't think twice about the entertainment. You just can't get enough of it. And I don't think enough people actually understand how they do it and what they do and the entertainment value behind it. Both my parents have been out to the clubs and seen my shows and, you know, my four-year-old niece watches YouTube videos of me in drag, so, you know, it's just <laughs> part of the family, really. <laughs> Female impersonators aren't everyone's cup of tea and the performers have copped the odd bit of abuse, but they want people to take it for what it is, fabulous entertainment. I'm not asking them to accept it. If they, they choose to, they can. If not, then that's cool with them. You do you, I do me, and we'll go on with life. <laughs> Thank you.
And that's a wrap. And if you want more info about the performers, head to our website.